It's called A Culture Built on Coal. The pithead hooter is silent now. The winding gear is still. What was a grey-blue heap of slag is now a fern-green hill. For the old men draw their pensions, and the young men draw the dole. And I've lived to see the dying of a culture built on coal. The husband on the night shift won't trudge off down the lane and leave his wife to worry he'll not make it home again. No more we'll hear the banter in our proud old forest tongue or the old man in the corner coughing poison from his lung. No more will miners bring home weary faces grimed with dirt or a woman old before her time scrub coal dust from a shirt. No more will anxious families gather at the hooter's sound or stand weeping at the broken bodies brought from underground. But neither will we feel the bond between a band of men who trust each other's skills upon which all their lives depend. In a time of peace and plenty, it's impossible to find the comradeship well known to those who labour down the mine. For now our world is setting out to write another page without the sighing of the winding wheel or the rattle of the cage. And those of us with memories are left to count the cost of what the forests gained from progress and just how much has been lost. For the pit head hooter is silent now. The winding gear is gone. But in this generation still the memories linger on. There's a melancholy emptiness deep, deep within the soul that we've lived to see the dying of a culture built on coal.